Welcome to NFL Picks, Laugh Kings NFL Picks and Best Bets Week 4 edition. So, we won't waste any time. We'll get into what happened last week. I don't know if I really want to get into it right away, but uh, somebody really, really did bad. And that is me. <laughs> so, I finished last, obviously, uh, for week three. I went two and fourteen. Damn! Wow. Mm. You gotta repeat mm-hmm. that, man. They don't Damn. believe it. <laughs> two and fourteen in week three, which brings my total to a disaster. Dismal. <laughs> Sixteen, thirty, and two. Oh my God. There is a bright spot. There is a bright spot. I don't know how. You can't get gone. worse. That's the bright spot. <laughs> The best spot, the best bets are three and oh. Mm. So I've been a lock on best bets for some reason. I'm not a lock on anything else, so might as well be a lock on best bets. <laughs> but uh, enough about me. Um, the second finish in second place is JR for week three. He went six and ten. Very respectable, very respectable, but even more respectable is his total. Um, overall total is 27, 19, and 2. And his best bets are 1 and 2. Struggling a little bit with best bets, but overall, if you go with JR's picks, you're pretty much doing pretty well. And the winner of week 3, Jace. So he got 9 and 7 last week, which puts him his total at 25. 21 and 2. Very respectable. You're over 500. Your best bets, 1 and 2. So you and Jay. Coming for you, JR. Coming for you. (laughs) All right. All right. Uncle Sammy, what was your total? I don't think you mentioned that. I didn't mention my total. Sorry about that. No, I did mention it, but I know you want to hear it again how bad it is. It's 16, 30, and 2. (laughs) Shameful. Shameful. You know what, though? It's a new week, so there's Mm -hmm. hope all over again. So we're into week four. So last week I actually wrote my picks down prior to this. I decided that was not smart. So I'm going to just wing it. So let's start off with the Thursday night game. We got the Dallas Cowboys at the New York Giants. We got the Cowboys favored at minus five and a half. I'll kick it off. uh, go with the Giants at home to cover five and a half. Damn. Um, I'm going to go with Dallas on this one. Um, I think they're going to rebound and, and, and actually play defense this time. So I'm, I'm going to go with Dallas. Hmm. All right. I'm actually going with the Cowboys. They're favored. And I think, uh, I think they're a lock for this one against uh, a struggling Giants team. Yeah, no. Got me worried now with the two of you taking Cowboys, but <laughs> <laughs> we keep it we keep it moving. So we head into the Sunday games. We start off with the Pittsburgh Steelers at the New in- uh at the Indianapolis Colts, I should say. So Pittsburgh at Indianapolis. Uh the Steelers are favored by minus two and a half on the road. I'm going with the Pittsburgh Steelers to cover minus two and a half. Yeah, man. Pittsburgh has been solid. The defense is solid. You can't go wrong with that. Even with the spread being so small, they, they should just clear that easily. Hmm. All right. I actually got the Colts. I think that they're going to derail this, uh, this Steelers run that they're on. I know it's going to be tough, but I just think we got to humble those Steelers fans because I've been seeing too many of those terrible towels waving. So we got to humble them. So I, I got the Colts. Uh, I feel you on that. I'm not a Steelers fan, so I understand that, but I still got them to win. Uh, Let's go to the Vikings at the Packers. And the Packers are favored minus two and a half. Oh, I thought the the Packers were going downhill, and then they put on a good game. So, you know what, though? The Vikings are impressing me. They're on the road. They're not favored. I'll take the Vikings to cover the two and a half points. I'm taking the Vikings as well, but I'm kind of scared because Uncle Sammy took it. <laughs> but I took that because Vikings are still 
I think one of four teams that are still undefeated. So undefeated. Green Bay still has that question at the quarterback. So I still I, I think Vikings got this one. Mm, all right. Well, it's a clean sweep. I also got the Vikings as well to cover the uh, two and a half points. Perfect. All right. We go to the Jacksonville Jaguars are on the road in Houston to take on the Texans at minus six and a half. Um, Houston's favorite on, at home. Give me Houston Texans. I know they didn't have a great game last week, um, but I think they rebound and they cover minus six, uh, minus six and a half on, at home against the Jags. I was gonna take Houston, but I think the spread is a little bit too much. I know Jag, Jags had a horrible game, horrible. They got destroyed. So I don't think they'll actually win this game, but I think they'll cover the spread and make it close. So I'm taking Jacksonville. Hmm. All right. I actually got the Texans. I think um, they're going to rebound and come out on top for, uh, for the next game. All right. Move over to New Orleans Saints at the Atlanta Falcons. We got the Falcons at home favored by minus two. My mind tells me Atlanta's defense might be too much for New Orleans. However, I will ride with Derek Carr and the New Orleans Saints to cover two in Atlanta. I got Atlanta at home, man. Mm, all right. I uh, I got the Saints. They're on the road. I think, I think they got this one. All right. Uh, the LA Rams travel to Chicago to take on the Bears um, and that dangerous defense. Bears are favored at home, minus two and a half. I think, I know Caleb Williams is not doing too many things. However, that Bears defense, I, I think they're, they're just too much. So I think the Bears win minus two and a half. Yeah, agree with that, taking Bears. Mm, I actually got the Rams on the road. Why not? All right. We go to the Philadelphia Eagles at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They're in Tampa Bay, but the Eagles are still favored on the road. Minus two and a half. Ah, I don't know. I don't know what happened to the Buccaneers last week. But Saquon Barkley in Philadelphia is like a different mm. guy. And I don't like Philadelphia. However, I believe they do beat Tampa Bay. My, uh, take them to cover minus two and a half. I'm taking Tampa Bay at home. I got the same as well. I got Tampa at home. I think uh, they're going to rebound from last week. And they're going to be facing a tough uh, Eagles team. But uh, I, think, I think they'll hold it down. Uh, now we got the Cincinnati Bengals at the Carolina Panthers. Oh my God! I don't. The Bengals are favored on the road, minus four and a half. Bengals are zero and three. Andy Dalton is leading the Panthers. What the hell is going on in the world? So Andy Dalton go, going against the Bengals, the whole team. Oh my God! The Bengals can't be that bad with Joe Burrow. Give me the Bengals minus four and a half. I can't pat this, man. I took them last week. They came through. I'm taking them again. I got the Panthers as well. I think, uh, I think, I think there's going to be at least one more game of a low point for the Bengals. And I think this is going to be the game. And then after this, they're probably going to turn around and it's tear done, up the man. rest it's of the done. season. Well, <laughs> well, we'll see. I think, th but again, it's, it's embarrassing to lose to the Panthers, especially what's been going on with them. But Andy Dalton against his former team, the Bengals legend. I I, I think the Panthers are going to come out on top. Interesting. You probably are both right because clearly my picks are wrong, and you both took you both took the Panthers. So there's no confidence uh, in them. <laughs> my confidence pick. My confidence is low. Uh, let's see. We move on to uh, Denver Broncos at the New York Jets. They're at New York, and the Jets are favored by seven. Yeah, you know what? I think the Jets covered a seven. Yeah, I agree. I went against Aaron Rodgers last week. I got smoked on that one, so <laughs> I'm, I'm creeping back to to the Jets side. All right, and I also got the Jets as well at home. 
So I think they'll get it done. Right. They got the Washington Commanders uh, in Arizona against the Cardinals. Cardinals at home is favored by minus three and a half. This is a tough one because Jaden Daniels look really good. I'll give Kyler Murray a chance at home and take that minus three and a half. That ain't happening, Uncle Sammy. Commanders got this one. I'm taking Commanders. <laughs> I got the Commanders as well. Daniels is looking pretty good, so it's hard to go against him. So I, I, I got the Commanders. Yeah, I understand it. And now we move on to the New England Patriots at the San Francisco 49ers. The, the 49ers are favored minus nine and a half at home. I got to go against that. Um, everyone and their mother is injured in, in San Francisco. So uh, I'm taking the New England Patriots to cover that nine and a half. I'm taking San Francisco at home. Mm, all right. I actually got the 40. Uh, sorry, excuse me. I got the Patriots. And reason being is, I think with that much of a spread, it, 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 mm, something's telling me, something's telling me to go against the 49ers and pick the Patriots. So I got the, the Patriots. Spread. The big spread. Mm. Very big. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We got the Cleveland Browns at the Las Vegas Raiders with the Raiders only favored by minus one. It's. Give me the Raiders. Cleveland looks like a disaster of a team. And it's a one-point spread at home. I'll take the Raiders. Yeah, I first time I agree with you, Uncle Sam, I'm taking the Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I got the Browns. Why not? They look like a mess, but hey, you know, they might do me some, work some magic and, and give me the win here. So I got the Browns. Got to win sometime, I guess, right? Like, uh, we got next, we got the Kansas City Chiefs at the LA Chargers. Chiefs on the road is favored by minus seven and a half. I think I'm just going to stick with the Chiefs. Um, I've been playing the Chargers and they've been doing well, but they're starting to get banged up a little bit. Herbert, Bosa, too many injuries are starting to creep up. So I'll take the Chiefs to cover minus seven and a half on the road. Is this the week that the Chiefs finally lose one? Because they're going to have to lose once, at least. But no, I don't, I don't think this is the week. I'm still going with the Chiefs, but I think that week is coming soon. Mm -hmm. mm, all right. It's hard to go against the Chiefs. That's all I got to say. So my pick is the Chiefs. All right. The Buffalo Bills at the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens at home, minus two and a half. I have to apologize to King Henry. He went off against the Cowboys. Um, but Buffalo went off against the Jags. So I think Buffalo looks like a more dominant team overall. So, you know, on the road, I think they cover two and a half. Yeah, same here. Buffalo looks strong. I like the Ravens. That's like one of my favorite teams. Buffalo's just on another level this year. So I'm, I'm taking the Bills. Mm. Yeah, I got the Bills as well. They're looking they're looking good. Oh yeah. Alright, let's move over. Then the Monday nighter. Disclaimer alert. It's the Tennessee Titans game. Oh my god. Yes. The Tennessee the lowly Tennessee Titans struggling. They're actually favored again this week on the road against the Miami Dolphins. Dolphins at home is um underdog. And it's not a big spread. Titans favored by one. I'm going to take the Titans. Um, this time I'm thinking like Miami is a disaster right now. Like with the quarterback situation. There's no way the Titans lose to a team that doesn't even know who they're playing uh, at quarterback. Right? Like tell me. like <laughs> That's what we hope. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, if Skyler's playing, I have... Well, he sucks, but who they're replacing him with, I don't even know. But Boyle, Huntley, could be anybody. <laughs> I am cautiously optimistic that the Tennessee Titans will take this one. Hmm. All right. I also got the Titans as well. I think this is going to be the game where there's a turning point and hopefully turn the season around. Yes, they're facing a, a depleted Dolphins team, but this is what they potentially need 
to turn the season around since it's already early enough. So I got the Titans. And it's right before a bye. So like if you can get a win, head into the bye feeling good, get some rest for the rest of the season. Let's hope. Let's hope. We all got the Titans. Last game, another Monday night game. It's the Seattle Seahawks at the Detroit Lions with Detroit favored minus four. I'm going to take Seattle. Seattle keeps doing what they do, and they keep winning. So I think that uh, Seattle covers on the road. I got the Lions at home. I don't, I don't think the spread's not too bad, but I got them at home. All right, and I also got the Lions at home as well. I think uh, I think it should be a good game, Monday nighter. Um, so I think the Lions are going to come out on top. All right, that's the that's the picks for Week Four. We head over to our best bets. So we start with me putting my undefeated best bets three and zero on the line. And you know what? I'm going with the winless team for my undefeated streak. My best bet is the Tennessee Titans to cover minus one against a very depleted, like JR said, Miami Dolphins. If you can't win at Miami at this point with the, all the injuries they have, you may never win again. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with put my 3 0 record with the Tennessee Titans to cover one and a half under, um, minus one on the road. Sorry. Damn. So that's that's pretty much guaranteed because Uncle Sammy has been hitting these <laughs> the last three weeks. Makes but I'm sense. trying to do the reverse psychology to get my yeah. team a win, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> my best bet is going to be the Vikings over Green Bay. I think Green Bay still question. I think Willis had got a couple good couple games, but they haven't really faced great teams yet. I think that's one of the key things that is going to probably hinder them against facing a team that actually plays proper defense. So Vikings will go in there and just get their continues continue their um, winning streak. Hmm. All right. My best bet is going to be the Bills. They're playing a Sunday night game. It's going to be in Baltimore. You know, it's going to be loud. It's going to be rowdy. Lamar Jackson versus uh, Josh Allen. But I, I'm going to give the edge to Allen and the Bills. I think Allen's going to go off. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen his uh, kind of promo commercial with the whole ad. I believe it's with Gatorade. Yeah, I, I, you know, the little sad story. Nobody picked him in high school and this and that and blah, blah, blah. But hey, I think that sad sob story is going to give him the advantage and <laughs> uh, he's going to ride that wave to... Um, for the rest of the season, so I got, I got the Bills for best bet this week. Perfect. Well, cool. there you have it, folks. Our uh, week four picks and best bet. Jace, want to end it off? Yeah. Tune in every week for our NFL picks. This is week four. You can find us everywhere on the socials at the Laugh Kings with a Z. YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram for the audio heads. Search the Laugh Kings on your podcast. And also for anything and everything Laugh Kings, go to direct.me slash Laugh Kings with a Z or a Z. Peace, week four. We'll tally the totals again. <laughs>